Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Tropico 4. I really wish I'd looked at the name of this mission. Something mining. I think it's something mining. Uh, but <laughs> uh, we still don't seem to have people liking us all that much. And it primarily looks like there's religious of being idiots. Uh, they want a cathedral so we're going to go build one. See if we can't improve the satisfaction. Oh, pause, pause, be paused. Request a cathedral. Comrade, I have a secret task for you. It is a matter of international urgency. I'm sorry, but we're not going to be producing rum, and I do need to take the overlay off of these Twitch people. Thank you. Uh, that's too far. There we go. No, can, I, can, I, can I come across here? Thank you, Gabe. Behave yourself. Woo, spinny, spinny. Now we're going to dismiss. I don't want to produce rum. We are paused. Good. And... And farms are just in the way. Uh, but is it under entertainment for the cathedral? No. Where's the cathedral? It's not welfare or economy. Come on. Quick building is going to cost 20 grand. Yeah, I'm not spending that. We do have enough money for that Christ for Saviour statue, though, and that's going to make them like us as well. So, Christ for Saviour. And I guess this improves beauty or something. It does improve something. So let's let's stick it. No, looking this way. Thank you. Turn around, Jeebus. Let's stick it there because there's not much else that will fit in that place. So that's fine. And we'll get things going again. Nine new more immigrants. Uh, how are we looking on jobs? Eight unemployed and 23 job positions. Yes, the jobs are actually starting to come back in again now. So I think even with that extra 19, we should be okay on there. People are demanding elections, and El Presidente demands your vote. Vote <laughs> El Presidente. Uh, no elections yet, please. I um, I would like to make the people a bit happier before we have to go for the election. See, though. That's going to make the religious people like more. How big's the religious faction? There's 55 people in it, yeah, so we do need to make them like us a bit better. Somebody has become a rebel. And I don't like the fact that people are becoming rebels. Government. Army base. Pay it. Build it. Place you down here, mate. There we go. Now, oh, we need the generals to actually build the guard posts, but... The objective has been completed, so now, do the religious people like me? At 42%, they don't hate me. There's still no cathedral and low uh, religious satisfaction, so that's fine. But we've got the cathedral on the way as well. But we've bankrupted ourselves doing this. Yeah, and national debt again has gone down. Damn it. Oh, uh, not national debt. Uh, come on, export it. There's another five grand there. Get it on. Good, we got some money from that. We really sort of needed it as well. But let's go down the education route. Education and media. Academy of Science. Put you down by the docks. Because you fit. Uh, cathedral, if you could be a high priority, please. Housing's going up, so is that a communist going to be liking me a bit better? There's still insufficient housing and healthcare, but they're liking us. Uh, nationalists. So religious and militarists who hate us. Oh, no, environmentalists, but we've already sort of given up on them, so that's fine. The world is in danger. Only we can save the planet. Our green initiative starts now. We will. He's tall, he's divinely handsome, and he loves you! Can you introduce us? Oh, I think you know him, Sonny. Congratulations on our brand new savior statue, Copaneros! <laughs> he's Jesus, we know him. Uh, our green initiative is right now. Uh, we will do all we can, but if you could help us, uh, that would be great. We just need a horticultural station. Uh, we'll make things much easier, greener, and better, I assure you that this land will not look like the same with just a little effort. 
I'll accept that actually. We'll, we'll, we'll have a go. Where is it? Does that pause when I go to this? It does pause when I go to the menu. Good. Um. Beauty. Yep. Government. Yep. <laughs> Infrastructure. Health and well-being. There's a weather station there. Where the hell's the horticultural station? Um. Right, it's not in beauty. Luxury attractions. No. Normal attractions. No. Tourism. I don't think it's in any of these at the bottom, but I'm just going through them so I don't miss it. Teamster's office? No. No. Food and resources. A oh, horticultural station. Yeah, that's great. Pay it. If we've actually found a way we can make the re them people like us a bit better, we we have to attempt it. We have to attempt it. How are we looking in the almanac? Um, economy, we have 90 slots open for families and 29 homeless, so they, sh they should move into their freaking houses. We have 17 people unemployed, but we have 21 jobs for them, so they should go take the jobs that we have available. Yeah, I'm doing good here. I'm actually managing things reasonably fine. And you guys still and hate now, me for some reason. An exclusive interview with El Presidente's childhood bear, which is now on display at his childhood museum, Misha. How do you feel about being on display? Oh, it's great. Get some more Come people in here. Come and see us all. Aren't you a little old to be playing with dolls? Don't listen to the snarky Paul. lady, Misha. Snarky? Oh, new mission? Presidente guy, I don't get you. There are tons of good, hard-working Tropicans out there, and you pick a foreigner to be a minister? You don't want to anger El Diablo, the devil. I, I know what Diablo means, mate. Tuh. Uh, I'm taking talking about the Minister of Education, of course. El Diablo would put up with being under a foreigner. I mean, everybody knows that Tropicans are smarter and more capable. I'll accept, but there wasn't one. No me interesa. How do I how do I fire him then? Are you sure you want to fire your Minister of Education? Yes, that's fine. And then I'll hire another foreigner. Yay! We need proper healthcare facilities on our island, Comrade Presidente. That's fine, Most mate. We'll, we'll build some more. Presidente, several European countries are going to ban the public showing of Islamic religious symbols. The Middle East and the rest of the Islamic world are outraged. Mm, they have every right to do it, but should they? Yeah, no. I'm not that bothered either way. They can't kill me. Let's pause this, though, and... It was healthcare that they wanted, so government. Possibly we're gonna have to keep using clinics because I don't have any power. We only have 30 odd grand. Have we got a chunk of money coming in soon? Two months, actually, screw this. Freighter, come on, give me some money. President, Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. No, they don't. They wish to They may have office. used different words, but that does not matter. Yes, it is a good chance to impress people with my... Oh, an election speech, elections without a speech, no elections. I would do the elections with a speech. Address a hot issue. Um, I thought there was a way of... Right, which faction? Environmentalists. Oh, so we'll address the... Oh, actually, what issues are making them all annoyed? The capitalists, they love me, insufficient housing, better healthcare. There's more than enough housing. I might make housing free for everyone. Uh, that'll be a promise. That'd be a good promise, actually. 56 of them are communists. Oh, but 78 are religious. We have a cathedral and everything now. That should sort itself out. Insufficient army. Not enough generals. Are you more than the communists? 
you dislike me more, so that might be a good thing to try and sort out. Environmentalists are actually a small faction. Let's see, we'll address... Oh, we can't address army. So we'll address the environment. We'll praise the spirit of the militarists. And that does actually tell you what it's going to do. Good. Yeah, they're the lowest, so... Well, apart from environmentalists, but... We know that they're the largest ones who are annoyed with us. Does it not tell me in here? Citizens who value the nice things in life will more like to vote for you. Hmm. God fear and tropicans are more likely to vote for me. Or we'll try and fix that then, I guess. Or do I want environmentalists? Let's do the environmentalists. See if we can fix them. And let's see. Promise for the next mandate. Adequate housing. Yeah, we'll try that. Let's issue this speech and get going. Our total effect. Citizens who care about the environment will like us. 10% military. And... Uh, Oh, which is currently 47, uh, 47. Some voters will be swayed by your promise to improve housing. Issue. And start the timer. I'm an idiot. Excellent. Now we only need a few professors. I like to be surrounded by intelligent, imaginative men. At least four of them. <laughs> we need four. Okay. That's fine. I think... Citizens of Tropico, I want to stress the great progress we have made. Production has increased steadily, exceeding 25% in some areas. I tell you, we will complete the five-year plan in four years. Okay, so far, this, this is progress. 24 against us, come on. 22 yes, going down, there are 21. problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The pollution in cities, about which I hear so much these days, oh, they're is not liking one that. of them. And it will be That's resolved, annoying people. as will all others, in time, as the global Ooh, economy I'm annoying lots stabilizes. of people with this. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my companions. Alas... I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. I, in turn, want to show my gratitude to the brave defenders of Tropico and all militarists. Well, we did more to annoy the people of Tropico there than what we did actually to make them like us. Which is a bit bad. Oh, but export pineapples, don't care. What's this? Why am I getting a clapping noise? No one can deny the amazing development that is happening in Tropico within just you... one mandate. No. I have an even more astonishing this future miss. in store for all of you. I promise you that in my next term, people will no longer have to live in shacks. Again, that's not seem to affect him. All this speech has done is annoy people more. See you at the Grand Fiesta after the victory. Yeah, we've got a few of them back. But yeah, we, we primarily annoyed people with that speech. But they're still going to vote for us, so that's good. A few more citizens of criminals. Can I fit another... Another police station in there. Government. We'll fit the police station here. There we go, there's the store. And we'll put down another police station. Because crime seems to be a problem. I couldn't address it, but it seems to be a problem. Oh, and everyone actually came back from when we just stream dropped down. Welcome back, guys. Sorry for it keep dropping, as I said, I don't know why. Stream apparently says I have a brilliant streaming bed, everything dies. My dear Presidente, the election day draws near. Our diligent bureaucrats have calculated that you will get approximately 80% of the vote. Several of our advisors suggest that the number could go higher in certain techniques like counting methods and a positive and negative uh, are used to attract more votes uh, for you. I believe that the intellectuals on this will call this election fraud, keeping in mind that some Tropicans might get upset 
are used to such tactics regardless whether they change the result of the election or not. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. It's, it's fair. I think we're going to win this, so it's okay. There's no need for fraud. That'll keep the, electri the uh, intellectuals happy with me. Uh, smelly, gross, garbage. I don't care. Some Colombian barons have larger armies than ours, sir. This is unacceptable. Immediately seven more soldiers. The environmentalists despise me. Not enough garbage facilities, high pollution. Yeah. Let's pause this and we'll try and address some of them issues. Presidente, may your children be many I'm and your be. camels always... I want some power. No, oh, wait. Power is in infrastructure. We really don't need the nuclear power plant, but... Why wouldn't I build a nuclear one if I can? There we go. Nuclear power plant. We're going to have power, which means we're going to be able to build a proper hospital. And uh, sort out the liberty as well, which will be nice. In the meantime, we need some generals. So let's hire some college graduates. How's the military base looking as well? Yep. Hire some more. When these guys turn up, I'll start building my guard posts around everywhere. Oh, too expensive. That's fine. I'll have to bankrupt it as a game. And we're going to buy crap tons of... Oh, wait. We've got some money there. I have some good news, sir. The rebels are afraid of our military's might. I guess the generals count. Congratulations, Presidente. You have won the elections. People are content that no incidents occurred during the elections. You have their trust and all the credibility of our young democracy. <laughs> Today is a bright day for Tropic and Democracy. The polls are in, and it's clear people overwhelmingly voted for El Presidente. The way things are going, the secret police will be out of work in a couple of years. I haven't even managed to place the secret police yet. We could be out of work before we even get started. More immigrants, more experts. But now we have more experts, it means I should be able to go to government. Um, guard station. Is there any way of building these multiply? I don't want to keep coming in here and going guard station again. Uh, government, guard station, put one out near all these guys, government, guard station, some more mines over here isn't they, mm. yeah put you there, government, guard station, there we go, guard station, up here as well, still got some mines to be built for Christ's sake, how have they not built all the mines yet? Time it is going, that's good. Uh, government. Not enough generals. Okay, well, we've got a good number of guard stations being built. How have you guys not managed to build everything yet? Really? Uh, let's check on the almanac. How are we doing for jobs? The environment is truly despise us. Despite the fact we have a whole horticultural station, so we do need to build a, a dump somewhere. She'll complain when we build it. We have 48 free jobs and 19 unemployed. And more. Right, let's go to the edicts. General. Uh, free housing. Hmm. People do not pay for their housing. Races are respected communists, but lowest respected capitalists. Actually, I don't think we need to do this. As long as they're getting work, then they should be able to afford housing, so I'm fine with that. What do tax cuts do? Raising for all citizens for three years doesn't stack to itself if it is issued multiple times. Social Security pays two thirds of the average wage to retirees and students, increases the respect of everyone. National respect would be low, but we don't have any nationalists, so. I'm probably get away with that. No, I'm gonna leave it for now. 
Like, with houses completely empty. Congratulations, comrades, on the construction of the new nuclear plant. There we go. We will Hi, split right. the capitalistic atom with the spark of the revolution. Uh, this means that we can now go into economy and welfare and build ourselves a hospital. It looks like all over here will be covered. There we go, it's a hospital going down. It should help the healthcare a lot. Um, can we import some nukes, please? Yeah, import expensive is going up, that's okay. Fishermen are desperately working trying to get some food, so that's good. Five deaths last year. Well, we're building a hospital, so that's fine. That should sort itself out. And once we have power, I'm also thinking entertainment. Is it under entertainment? No, it's media. Media, media, media. Education and media. TV station. Try and sort out the liberty. Really? Does it change anything? Uh, how close can I get this built in? could really do with this being close to all my housing. There we go, let's get that built down. Hmm. The Association of Tropican Officers has written a letter of gratitude for your attention to the needs of the army, sir. Well, that's good, they're not going to kill me anymore. How's our college looking? The rebels are launching an attack as I speak, sir. <laughs> to arms! To our, arms! Our 12 men against their father, that's fine. Go on, get someone working at this college. We need college workers. I want to stop having to pay for them. A decisive victory for our brave soldiers, Commandante. I'm not Commandant, I'm General. General Wilson. Are you a rebel? Nope. Are you tired of El Presidente's army beating you left, right, and center? You need we bigger guns. Are any nukes? Selling. I think if so. If you call in the next five minutes, you will also receive a patriotic flag and a free decadence. Yeah, import expense of 27 grand. Holy cow, it's a lot of... It's going to be a lot of uranium that we've just bought. But I'm okay with buying uranium. Um... I mean, depleted uranium is good for building houses, isn't it? Nice and strong. Oh, the uranium. Come on, Teamsters, you're right there. Come pick this up. Get it in our power plant. Get us working. Look around, President. I know you complain about pollution. Hey, okay, I'll try and address that. Um, I guess infrastructure and then dump. We'll put a dump there and we'll also take a dump on the other side of town. A dump right next to the cathedral. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. And what do you want? Most honorable leader, your greatness shines like a star in the sky. Will you help us by giving us some cash? Um. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Pay them. We've annoyed them a few times as well, so that's fine. We have the uranium, we have a worker, we had a worker from the start, he's just waiting for the uranium to be delivered and he should start producing power. That's the time for Greg, hopefully. Yes, power we have, guys. So now our hospital. Needs more college workers. And you, oh good, you do have some college female. You're on the BBC, so Liberty, how's Liberty looking? It's not quite reaching to the nuclear power plant. You are not very liberal at the power plant. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, knowing how far that reaches, though, I might have built it further down here. I thought it was only going to cover like an area like that. That's fine. Why don't the people love me yet? Factions. Not enough pollution reduction facilities. You're working on that. Primarily the environmentalists. The religious are a little bit annoyed, but once we have some more college workers there, that should sort out. The environment. I believe you have something to say, Sonny. Dear Tropicans, 
We are all criminals, criminals against Mother Nature. Take a look at our once beautiful beaches, now polluted. Take a look at the mounds of garbage, the toxic waste. This is our doing, and we should do everything in our power to undo it. That's it for the environment. Next week, library subscription fees. That's fine. Well, we still need more people coming in. We still have more houses, we still have more jobs. Uh, so I'm not going to take up the open doors, despite the fact that I'll make the nationalists like me more. But we really need to sort out the environmentalists. So, how much is that to quick build? Five grand. I don't particularly have the money, but they are working on them, so that's fine. Um, hmm. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTubes, that is all that we have time for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, pause. Goodbye.